the general manager in charge of cooperatives, uh, in charge of our branch network and distribution of our business uh, is Mr. Michael Mugo. Uh, and then we have three control functions uh, that work with us, uh, starting with the group chief internal auditor, Mr. Luvai Muyesu, our group actuary, uh, Madam Sarome Degwa, and finally, uh, our group risk and compliance manager, uh, Mrs. MS uh, Susan Robin. So that is a team that uh, we work with, and that is a team that has made uh, CIC group uh, soar to greater heights, as you will see in our 2022 results, uh, having done quite well uh, compared to the previous year. So a very brief history of uh, CIC insurance group. Uh, I'll just mention very, very, very uh, few key highlights. Uh, starting with when we were started in 1968. Uh, of course, we were started by farmers, especially coffee cooperatives, because we couldn't, the, the coffee cooperatives could not um, get uh, insurance companies at the time to give them financial services, especially insurance. So fast forward, um, 2010, the name changed. Uh, so at, at the time we started uh, the name we were called CIS uh, Insurance. 2010, uh, the name is changed to CIC Insurance Group Limited in preparation for demerger out of the re requirements by the regulator. 2011, we demerge to the three companies that I have just mentioned. Uh, key milestone in 2012, uh, when the group uh, actually got listed in Nairobi Securities Exchange. Uh, 2024, opening of CIC Plaza 2, where we are holding this briefing. Um, 2026, 2027, and 2028, a lot of awards uh, given to the company, especially in terms of uh, life awards um, and best practices as well. Uh, 2019, uh, the company marked 20, um, 50 years uh, since it started its operations uh, in 1969. So basically, we are here in 2022, looking at the transformation we started around 2020. Uh, and as we will be seeing in terms of our results, uh, the transformation has uh, come in uh, quite successfully. Uh, so from a strategy perspective, uh, CIC Group uh, has a strategy that was crafted late 2020. Um, this strategy is a five-year strategy. Uh, driving the group uh, from 2021 to 2025. And uh, that strategy is underpinned by 12 key transformational initiatives. Uh, I'll quickly mention one by one as I go. Uh, we can start with digitization. So clearly as a business and focusing the future and sustaining our business now into the future, digitization is one of the key focus areas. So we have implemented quite a number of uh, uh, digital solutions, uh, live business customer mobile apps, uh, automation of key performance management, and other solutions such as automated claim vetting uh, for media division, among many others. I think uh, this is an area as a business that we've just scratched the surface uh, and we will continue doing much more. Uh, including uh, digitization being the driver of our micro-insurance uh, penetration to the market. Um, cost management uh, has been quite uh, a key strategy as well. And one of the biggest costs that we have in our balance sheet, uh, in our PNL, is actually the finance cost out of the loan we have with the one of the banks. And one of the key uh, things that we are doing is to actually dispose of uh, our Kiaburand uh, through a project dubbed Ushirika Gardens. And as you can see there, uh, that is a launch that happened on 2nd uh, of November. Um, and it, it's, it's becoming very successful so far, having sold about 47 plots uh, out of uh, the first phase. Um, so again, once we are able to dispose that, um, we expect to then extinguish completely the finance cost, which is averaging about 500 million from our PNL, and that will then make uh, sustainability of our business uh, a reality. Uh, looking at innovative products, um, seeing me there with MD, uh, J 
General Business and MDA Kenya launching uh, some of the various innovative products that we have done in 2022. This is the um, the road, the 24/7 road rescue assist service. Uh, we have had other products within the year, Cop Care Health Insurance, uh, which is mainly for cooperatives, and um, even in the region, uh, coming up with products like Kameza uh, in Uganda for ordinary life. Uh, of course, these are just some few highlights. Uh, many more products uh, have been uh, launched within 2022. So this is an area again. Uh, we will continue perfecting to ensure that we have products that are serving the customer. Of course, uh, we are doing agile methodology in coming up with these products where we involve customers themselves uh, and their views uh, to be able to come up with a product. Cooperative strategy, this is an area we cannot uh, overemphasize. Uh, CIC being uh, uh, a cooperatives insurer uh, in, in as much as we do business with everybody else. We then have a focus uh, on cooperatives and this has really uh, driven our business in 2022. Uh, we've done a survey uh, to understand the market better so we're implementing the recommendations out of that survey. Uh, we have focused on uh, customer relationships, uh, visitations to our clients and also making sure uh, products are aligned to their needs. And uh, as you can see there again with MD uh, General Business launching the Cop Care product. Uh, this is a medical product uh, mainly for circles. Okay. Um, in terms of uh, operational efficiency, again, uh, in this time and age, uh, systems are very critical to business operations. So trying to make sure that our systems are up 100% of the times. So we implemented life and pension systems for our regional businesses. Uh, we have implemented uh, systems uh, even in Kenya for general business. Uh, we are currently uh, implementing a life system uh, for our life business, uh, also implementing um, IFRS 17 solution which is also an automated uh, process. So in a way, uh, again, uh, focusing our transformation initiatives on, on operational efficiency and ensuring that our systems are supporting the business 100% of the times. Another key area of focus has been performance management and culture. Uh, of course, um, uh, what uh, gets measured gets done. So one of the key areas of transformation here is to make sure that we measure performance uh, through quarterly appraisals, ensuring that our HR policies are supporting of the strategy, ensuring that we automate the process to make it easier, and also reviewing uh, the organization design to make sure that the functional structure supports the strategy. Least compliance and governance, another very key area of focus. As you, you appreciate, there's a lot of uh, areas that have come up lately of issues of anti-money laundering, issues of data, and therefore making sure that uh, our governance, even at the board level, complying with the, the regulators, insurance regulatory authority, uh, capital markets authority, and uh, RBA and all those. So this is a key area of focus and it has really supported our achievement of good results uh, even in 2022. There are also new areas like uh, environmental, social, and governance, which we are also focusing on. Another key area of focus has been debt management, both uh, premium debt and insurance debt. And a lot of uh, cleanup has been done, as you will see, uh, within uh, the presentation on the finances. So basically, um, for those reasoning, the investors, uh, these are some of the key areas of focus from a strategy perspective. Uh, they have been uh, successful and uh, they have really helped us uh, drive the numbers. <coughs> uh, maybe as I conclude, uh, the company and the business has also been quite uh, recognized with various accolades. Uh, in 2022, Aki Awards overall winner, Group Life Company of the Year, uh, Aki Group Life Best Practice Award, and I think we've won this for quite a number of uh, years. Uh, up there on my right, uh, Champions of Governance Awards. I think this one is one to be proud of. You can see our 
group company secretary there, receiving the overall winner, champion of governance uh, 2022 in the insurance sector. Um, and also, um, this is a good uh, testimony in terms of how governance in CIC is, is being managed. In terms of other awards, uh, Aki Awards, second runners up, most improved company, uh, and minimum loss ratio. So again, uh, when you talk about loss ratios, you're focusing uh, also on the bottom line. Think Business Awards, Medical Writer of the Year, Group Medical CIC General Insurance, again, a business that has done very well, as we will see in our results. I think Business Awards, uh, First Runners Up, Claim Settlement Award, uh, and Most Customer Centric and Writer, CIC Life Assurance. Uh, obviously, if you are not paying claims as an insurance company, then you probably are not a good insurance company. And I think for CIC to be recognized for paying claims, I think we are very uh, excited about that, and uh, that is what is making uh, customer come to CIC. Uh, last but not least is uh, Koya Awards, uh, finalist CIC Life Company. So I think I will stop there um, and uh, hand it over to our group CFO uh, to give us a bit uh, brief about uh, the financial performance, starting with the economic overview. Over to you, Philip. Thank you, uh, Group CEO, and good morning. Uh, good morning, everyone. Thank you, Group CEO. Uh, I'll take us through uh, the economic highlights uh, that we had during the course of the year, as well as the financial highlights of the business. Um, 